Make sure y'all comment below, man. I'm messing with the music, man. I ain't doing this for play play. We're doing this for great great. I ain't doing it for play play. I'm doing it for pay pay. You understand me? That go uh. You know, I gotta show off the shirt, man. <laughs> I gotta show off the merch, man. But other than that, man, I'm on the way to the gym. I'm saying in the meantime, in between time, I'm give y'all a little story, man. So understand this, right? So you know, I just was in, just in my small town, Carmody, right? I gave y'all a little drip of what I did. Of course, I went down there for a pussy. You know, I did. Oh man, what are you doing? Went down there for a pussy. You know, I'm real quick, like two different assortments. But you know what I'm saying? You know me, I ain't messing with no hood chicks like that in a while. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm out here with the suburban nights, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Yeah, I'm serious. Mm, 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 mm. Get you one of these, baby. Get you one of these. So you know I'm out here, I'm out here in the suburbs, man. That's where I be at marinating the glory. But you know, I went back to the crib, I had to revigorate my hoodness, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been so removed. Oh, the sun just shining on me. That's how I feel to be great. So anyway. Little black chick, light skin, thick, and all that. You know what I mean? A little something, a little fat ass, and all that. So she was like, boom. And I had the little Airbnb, but my brother was in town. He had his girl there. So, you know me, I get real catavascular in vagina. So I don't need making all that noise. That'd be weird. You know what I'm saying? My brother there, his, his son was there. You know what I'm saying? That'd be, I ain't trying to show out like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, boom, you got a little spot we can go to. She's like, yeah, I got a little spot in, this little, in the Murfreesboro. It's a smaller town than what we're in. It's even smaller than where we at. So I'm like, cool, let's go to high school, let's go there. You be by yourself, yeah. Pick her up, we drive there. So as soon as we start going, and I know Murphy Bro's a dirty, bummy place. She's like, yeah, over here. I look, I'm like, baby, that's the projects over there. Like, yeah, yeah. I know it's, it's, it's crazy over there, but that's where the spot is. I'm like, I'm a, fuck is going on, man? You telling me I done got to this tip top of my glory, I'm going into the projects and bummy ass Murphy Bro's the fuck pussy? You goddamn right I am. Shit, I had to get that motherfucking net off, baby. It been backed up. For one day, I'm tripping. But anyway, <laughs> so I was like, "Shit, let me get. I got to get these thrills, get these memories in." So I'm, I'm like, "I ain't got no pistol, I ain't got nothing." We pull up. It's the most grimiest, dirtiest hood. You know what I'm saying? Little dirty dudes out there smoking cigarette, black. I swear, I swear to God, dude. One dude had to be like six standing out there smoking a cigarette, and all that six year old nigga smoking a cigarette with a diaper still on. It was like a movie. I couldn't believe this shit. Hold on, that's the boulder attack. So look, dude, I'm like, man, come on, man. You know me, I just perked up on him. You know, you squeeze your, your body real quick and show the ferociousness of the physique on them like that real fast, like, you know what I mean? With that chin up. But y'all, I know motherfuckers ain't trying to fight. Motherfuckers got pistols, nigga. So, I walked in there, everything was cool. Heard, you know, little whispers, who this nigga? Who that nigga? Who this nigga? You know what I'm saying? You know, I had the Camaro, so I'm already looking crazy. They're like, who this nigga? I hear the little whispers and all that. I'm looking like, you know me type. You know, you adjust your waist like you got that pistol on you, like, adjusting like, nigga. Huh? Yeah, looking around that chin up type, acting like you're going to drop the pistol about to fall at your waist type feeling. That's how I, I was doing that, you know what I'm saying? Pump faking like a motherfucker. But anyway, I get past all the little motherfuckers going there. The house is the most bummiest, the most dirtiest. You know what I'm saying? I go upstairs. And then um, I go upstairs to the um, crib and all that. Upstairs in the crib. And there's a motherfucking uh, room. Room dirty as fuck, bed looking all weak type on the floor type bed. But the ass was fat. So as I'm walking upstairs, I see the dirtiness and the weakness of the crib, but that ass was fat. So that's all I really was paying attention to. Like, shit, <laughs> that don't really matter. His ass is fat, I need that, you know what I mean? So I'm still paying attention to my surroundings. I just kept informing her, like, anybody coming to this motherfucker, I'm shooting everybody. You know what I'm saying? That was my whole thought pattern, bitch. Anybody coming to this motherfucker, I'm shooting you, them, everybody, and I got to die, so. The bitch tried to set me up. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I went there with no jury on, nothing. I was already ahead of my time with the thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So we go up the stairs. Go get to, like I said, the bed is fucking bummy. You know what I'm saying? They try to turn the TV on. I said, baby, don't turn no lights on. Nothing. I don't want to see nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see nothing in this motherfucker. She go in there. She take the play. You know, I went there standing up at all crazy. All type of different kind of basketball moves. Standing up in the sideways. You know what I'm saying? Raw that, of course, is ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Big raw. Stand all up in it. Thrusting the ass was fat, pussy was decent, wasn't too crazy, but it was good enough. Shut the dick, lick balls, all the good shit, you know what I mean? So, I stood in it, I hit, I was in that motherfucker about three and a half minutes total. I'm saying from walking in the crib to, to busting that motherfucking squeegee, three and a half minutes total, in and out that motherfucking thing, right? So, uh, as 
she was she was not nuts. She get a towel, boom, boom. She tried to lay on me. I said, by the time she went to the bathroom, get a towel to come back, I already had my clothes back on, shoes and everything laced up, nigga. I already warmed up the car. Like, bitch, you crazy? Like, I gotta get out of here, but I can't hold you. So we walking down the stairs. Niggas, I, I look at my phone to check my like messages and all that. I swear to God. Three big ass roaches start calling down the wall. I said, oh shit. I type ran down the stairs. Ah, got to the door, got up out. Walked up out of there. I go up out of there, still all the little dirty niggas around the car and all that. Oh man, nice car, man. Who are you? Who are you, man? I said, man, I'm, I told them up like this. I said, hey, little dude. I said, man, I'm on a run right now, man. Three murders, man. Y'all don't want to know me, man. I'm on the run for three murders, bro. Uh, I mean, I got, a, I got a dirty pistol on my waist right now, man. I'm just trying to be low-key. They're like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. You know, I put that good lie in their brain. Infiltrated their skull with a good lie. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, they're like, all right, cool, all right, cool. She, man, I like the car. All right, man, move. I got in that car and went a thousand miles an hour to the crib. Come on, man. I'm too prestigious in life to be doing no shit like that, man. The pussy was good. I just fucked some new white pussy the night before. There was no reason for it. But shit, had to do it though. Fuck that. I had to just get them rocks off. You know what I'm saying? So I fucked me two pure pussies back to back. You know what I'm saying? It was cool when they went all that was decent enough, man. So I'm a wild boy, and I'm a wild guy, man. So other than that, man, you know that's the organic tail, man. You know, I fucked the bitch in the Rose, Rose Motel, man. Never again, though, Shannon. It's not worth it, people. I'll tell y'all that right now, man. It's not worth it. That pussy ain't worth it, champ. It definitely won't work. You know what I mean? It was decent, but I risked my life, my safety. I mean, I risked my life, my health, everything, my wealth. I'm a piece of ass. I'm with fat ass, though. With fat ass, though. But it's not worth it, people. Saying, don't do that. Don't be like this real on certain things. That's why I told my nephew, I, do, I make a lot of right moves, but I make a lot of crazy moves too. But I make no permanent fuck ups. So man, God is great, man. God, that's all I can really say, man. I appreciate y'all more than y'all know. Let's continue to go and grow. I had to give y'all a quick organic tale. Hope y'all enjoyed that. You understand me dot com. Make sure y'all go to organiclifestyle.com, order some merch right now, man. Stop playing. Don't be the only one that ain't fly. Don't be the one that's wearing it the same thing as everybody else. Don't be wearing the same thing as everybody else. You don't know what it stands for, what it means. You don't know these people that sell you these clothes. Y'all know Mr. Organic. Y'all know I make this shit by hand. I ship this shit by hand. You know what this stuff stands for, man. We gargoyles, man. We hard, we fly, we work hard, we get fly. We stand for something, man. We're building a legacy. We're gonna be here forever like a statue. Gargoyle status, man. You understand me? So I hope y'all appreciate what I bring to this platform. I'm stepping this thing a little bit. Corvette looking sensational. You know what I'm saying? We whip it here. You know what I mean? Live your life. You only got one life to live. Live it. You just don't survive. Live life. Make your dreams into goals. Make your goals into reality. You know what I mean? I need y'all to do that for me, man. Other than that, comment below. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. How you gonna be Organic Nation and the Gargoyle Gang? You ain't hit that notification bell. Quit fucking play on me, man. Look at my structure, man. 662330, man. Living life to the fullest, man. Wrist back on the motorcycle, niggas, man. You understand me? But other than that, I'm out of here, man. Make sure y'all download my music, stream it, whatever. Spotify, Tidal, whatever, nigga, Apple Music, iTunes, uh, just put in Mr.Organic, nigga, it's right there on the side, link is below, do mixtape mix season, you know what I mean, shit, you gotta goddamn advertise yourself, man, you gotta chase wealth, real shit, man. that's what it's all about, man, push yourself to the top, to the top of the poop, to the top of the poop, 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 top of the poop, Look at the arm. Ah! Yeah. Feeling so tranquil. Pure. This that serenity music. I can feel a fine sway of this behavior. <laughs> so organic. Ooh, they are. They are. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting money, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm eating honey, yeah, yeah. I'm selling honey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
yeah, yeah. Broke this love, yeah, yeah. I love myself, yeah, yeah. I'm out the hood, yeah, yeah. I'm living good, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,